Very excited. My wife and I are celebrating our first anniversary this week. Thank you. Yeah, she and I decided to have a heterosexual wedding. Uh, you have to discuss everything these days. You can't take any detail for granted. I told her I identify as the groom. She's like, I feel like the bride. I'm like, great, that's one thing down. Let's talk appetizers. We had a bit of a love story, she and I. Uh, we reconnected after 10 years. Uh, there was an age difference, and there still is. That's how math works. But it feels like less now because we're both older. She is in her early 30s. I'm in my late 40s. They say a woman's sexual prime is her 30s, so she is in her sexual prime, and I am not. <laughs> I'm past my prime. Like, do you remember when Shaq played for the Celtics? That's me. He didn't look like himself anymore. He had a hard time getting up and down the court. He was an embarrassment some nights. And I bet there were nights where Shaq's teammates were very angry at him. Like, Shaq, what's your problem? Do you even want to play with us? Do you have any passion for the game? And Shaq was probably like, no, guys, I love you. It's just that I'm a little older now. It takes me a little longer to warm up. Maybe if you could just be a little patient. Shaq probably said to them. And I just feel it was really wrong of Shaq's teammates to treat him that way. He was a legend. He had accomplished a lot in the game. And sure, if Shaq were to be honest with himself, he would admit that basketball didn't mean as much to him as it once did. There was a time when all Shaq thought about was basketball, all day, every day. But not anymore. He was an older man, and in a lot of ways, wiser. And if you look back, Shaq had some really good games for the Celtics. Not every game, not every game, but on certain nights, he looked like the Shaq of old, and I just wish that his teammates could have appreciated those nights instead of harping on the nights that he had difficulty performing. I feel for Shaq is what I'm trying to say. The older you get and the longer you've been with someone, the sex isn't as important as making sexual threats. You know what I mean? You just have to throw it out there. Like, someone's gonna get it tonight. No one's gonna get it. It's just a nice thing to say. It's a nice gesture. Like, you better watch out. You're gonna get punished. It's like, what's the punishment? We're gonna watch a show and go to bed? That's what we do every night. It's not a punishment. When we first moved in together, there was like an, kind of an adjustment period. We were fighting. Uh, it seemed to get better once I learned to apologize. That seemed to help things immeasurably. So I make it a habit now. I say, babe, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. And then she says, well, you can't just say I'm sorry. It's not just about saying the words I'm sorry. You have to understand what you did. You can't just say I'm sorry and it's over. And then I say, you're right. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I apologize. And then she says, well, it's not like this is the first time I've ever said this to you. I've said it many times before. You just keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. When are you going to get it through your head? And then I say, what the hell? I'm not Hitler. I'm just a human being. Maybe you could cut me some slack. Actually, I say, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I apologize. But we're finding out, obviously, more and more that uh, women have it harder than men, would you say? No, no one here to hear thinks that. I've been doing a bit of independent research, and I think that women do have it. I think women put up with so much crap from men their entire lives, from the time they're little girls, whether it's coaches, teachers, family members, neighbors, fellow classmates, colleagues, bosses, random jerks on the street, that by the time they finally settle on you, it's like they finally got through to customer service. <laughs> and you are gonna get an earful because they are not happy with the product. Yeah. Oh yeah. They have got some complaints and you just picked up. You're gonna be tempted to say things like, I'm sorry, that's not my department, let me transfer you. But it's all your department. You're the only one in the department. So just get used to saying things like, I'm sorry, please forgive me, I love you, and you have a shot at keeping your job. Yes. <laughs>